My plan today is to show you how I can now read all my Kindle books here on the Supernote uh, without having the Kindle app installed. Uh, I still have it, but I'm not using it anymore. Uh, I'll show you how I did it and how the Digital Caveman project and my timeline system are helping me keep all the books in sync. I can read them anywhere, as long as it is a, a device compatible with the EPUB format. Okay, let's go. I'm using this software here called Caliber, which does two things. First, it is a library management software. We're not covering that today, but there's a lot that you can do on your library using this software. But the most important part here is that it removes the DRM, which is a special code that Amazon adds to the books to prevent you from uh, reading your book uh, on other uh, types of devices. You have to read your Kindle books on a Kindle device, which is associated to your Amazon account. Calibre also will convert those books from the proprietary format Amazon uses to a more universal format, the EPUB format. And to remove that DRM, we need this tool here. It's called the DRM. So you need to download this file here, uncompress the zip file, set it apart for a moment, and I'll show you what I did and how to put all these pieces together. Okay. So let's go to the next step, installing Calibre. And of course, you'll find links to all this in the description below. Okay, installing Calibre, it, it, it's pretty straightforward. It's basically next, 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 next. But this first window here is very important. Calibre will create this folder called Calibre Library, where it will put all the books, all your, your entire library will be there, but you can change this. And I changed this to a new static container, a new folder, if you're not familiar with the timeline system, a new folder called ebooks. And this folder is inside, if it is a static container, you already know, it is inside my Obsidian file structure. And because my Obsidian vault, that file structure synchronizes with multiple devices, I'll have this library accessible. I'll be able to read the books uh, in any device uh, that has access to this folder. Okay, this is optional, of course, but from here, uh, just click next, 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 and install finish installing Calibre. Now we need to install the plugin that will remove the DRM. This is the file you download, the zip file you download and uncompressed. And inside that file, you also find this DDRM plugin readme file, which has the instructions. So it's pretty simple to follow. Just go to the preferences, uh, Calibre preferences, click on plugins, and from there, you have to click on load plugin and select the file. The, there is a specific file that you, you have to select. The, it, it is the DDRM plugin.zip. Select this file, open this file, and finish installing it. So now, if everything went as planned, you have the plugin that will remove the DRM. There's one thing we're not talking about here. I, I didn't mention in the beginning of the video because it's kind of obvious. You need your books to do, to do this. You need your Kindle books to do this. So uh, this is part of a plan I had for a long time, uh, removing my books, uh, uh, freeing my books from Amazon. But I was, uh, I was doing other things. But uh, uh, I don't know, a few, maybe a month ago, uh, a few weeks ago, Amazon changed a policy. We were used to be able to download our books, our Kindle books from Amazon website. They changed that. There is no way to download your books anymore. Uh, they sent an email to everyone and I downloaded my books before the, the, the expiration date where they would remove the, the feature. I'm assuming that you can still connect your Kindle to your computer and drag the files out of the Kindle because that's, that was something that was possible before and they didn't say 
they would remove that feature. So that's a, 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 an alternative to uh, get your books, to, to remove, physically remove your books from the Kindle. But even doing so, you still need to uh, go through the next steps, which is uh, removing the DRM and converting them to the EPUB format. For this next step, you need another information. And if you go to my website uh, here uh, under two box, and by the way, there is a lot of extra information here. In addition to all the videos and articles, I always publish extra information here. So you'll find here Kindle, and inside Kindle, you'll find how to find your Kindle's uh, serial number. You need this serial number for the next step. So follow the steps here, take note of your serial number, copy it somewhere, and let's go to the next step. Now that you know your serial number, we have to add this serial number to the plugin. So go to the same plugin pages, uh, click on preferences, go to that plugin pages, but now instead of installing, we are just uh, setting up the plugin. There are many other plugins here, so the easier thing to do is just search for DDRM and you'll find the plugin, uh, click on it, and there is this list of options here. You want to click on Kindle e-ink e-books. Here, inside this new window, paste or type your Kindle serial number. So what Calibre is doing here is using your serial number to identify the books that belong to you and then remove the DRM from those books. We'll now finally remove the DRM and convert the book to EPUB. Click on Add Books and choose one of your books uh, from the list you, uh, you took out of your Kindle. I'm using here algorithms to live by as an example. Then click on convert book and you see this uh, new window with a lot of information about the book. And if you pay attention, you see that on the left hand side, there is the uh, Amazon format. And on the right, uh, hand side, you see the EPUB format already selected, but there are many other formats in that list if someday you would like to convert the books to another format. So now it's just a matter of clicking OK and your book is converted and at the same time the DRM was removed from that book. Uh, Calibre will keep both copies, the Kindle uh, version and the EPUB or whatever format you choose to convert the book into. So you can delete the other file if you want to. That's optional. Uh, I delete it because I don't want uh, the same file taking extra space on my computer. Okay, now because that folder is uh, synchronized with my devices and to learn how to do that, you'll find a video here uh, there is also a, a link to that video in the description below how I did it, how I'm synchronizing everything. I can go to uh, the folder here and open that ebook and read it <laughs> using <laughs> the, the super note reader. There's, there, there's nothing else to do. The book is here, the format is compatible, so it, it's just a matter of reading the book. That's it for this one. As a reminder, this video is available ad-free for paid members on Patreon. There's also uh, an additional uh, uh, article. Uh, if you prefer to read, if you prefer to follow the steps, there is this article. If it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. You can also buy me a coffee. Thank you so much for your time. See you soon.